HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center in Marlboro, Massachusetts. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey, and it is senior night for the Hillers. Tonight they are celebrating several seniors, and without further ado, we'll throw it down to ice level right now for the senior night festivities. And on behalf of the friends of Hiller Hockey, Hopkinton High School administration, coaches, and players, I would like to welcome you all to the 2020 Senior Night Game. We would like to acknowledge the effort, commitment, and dedication shown by our seniors over the course of their playing careers both on and off the ice. Thank you for being such great competitors and teammates over the years. And now, for your senior, Hopkinton Pillars. Number two, Captain Drew Sakharosius. And his dad, Alex.
Number 12, Kyle Rogers. And his parents, Michelle and John, and his brother, Mark. Number 14, Dan Kirk. And his parents, Claire and Paul. Number 19, Captain Tommy Hamlet. And his parents, Lisa and Scott. And there you have it, the senior night festivities as the Hopkinton Hillers get ready to host the Holliston Panthers. And for those of you watching on YouTube, you'll be able to get to see the warm-ups. And for those of you watching on HCAM, we'll be right back. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers 
Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. The Hillers, the Panthers, coming up next. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi, and you are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey. And today, the 15-1-0 Hillers take on the 10-6-2 Holliston Panthers. And it's senior night tonight for the Hillers and the seniors they are celebrating. Includes Drew Saporoschitz, Reese Griffiths, Jake Weinstock, Curtis Terry, Will Quinlan, Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, Dan Kirk, Tommy Hamlet, and Gray Bailey. Quite a class of seniors as I welcome in my broadcast partner, Eric Cardi. Eric, uh, a lot of talent in that senior class. Yeah, this group's had a good run time over the past couple of years. Uh, you know, they're picking up uh, two TBL titles. We just heard that they clinched their second title in three years. Uh, we've got some really good talent to sit on this team and we're looking forward to a good game tonight with Hollison, another top 10 team in Division Three. So this should be a good one. And the last time these two teams met, it was a 4-2 Hillers win over at Loring Arena, a game that we did cover on H Camp, and Holliston uh, proved to be quite the challenge in that game. Yeah, they've got some good talent out They've got some real good fast skaters and up and coming team. So it's going to, the Hill is going to have the hands full tonight. They have to play some smart hockey, make sure they stay out of the box. And luckily, they're back to their full complement. They've got Sean Walsh back, and they've got Gray Bailey back. Well, it's a TVL large matchup, the Holliston Panthers and the Hopkinton Hillers. And we are moments away from face-off between these two very good teams. It should be a good home finale tonight. And without further ado, we will send it down to ice level for the opening announcements and the national anthem. And there you have it, the National Anthem, and we are ready to go in the last home game of the season for the Hopkinton Hillers. Of course, they could perhaps have home ice advantage, a number of games in the playoffs. They likely won't be in this arena, however, but we'll have to see how the schedule plays out. In any case, as you mentioned, Eric, the full complement of Hillers is back tonight 
including Sean Walsh and Gray Bailey. And I have to imagine that Sean Walsh is anxious to get out there after having a couple, after missing a couple of games. And Hollison will have a lot of speed out on the ice to contend with tonight. And we'll get you the starters in just a moment as we are underway. Andrew Gilbert working it up the far side. You got Drew Saporoschitz in there, Andrew Gilbert, Sean Walsh, Kyle Rogers, and Tommy Hamblett. Hamblett trying to dig it out of the corner. Surrounded by a couple of Panthers. Here comes Rogers around the net. Over to Saporoschitz on the near side. Takes the shot, and it's in front of the net. Walsh trying to put it in, and it's turned away by the Holliston goaltender, Nico Quattrimoni. Quattrimoni is a junior for the Panthers. Hiller is putting the pressure on right off the bat. Around the net it goes, and it's going to be picked up by Walsh as he pokes it out to Hamblett. Hamblett along the far side takes a shot, and it's turned away by Quattrimoni. It'll be picked up in the corner by Hunter McKelney, who sends it up the near side. Saporoschitz going to try to send it right back down. In the starting mix for the Panthers, as Pavin Mayer comes up and takes a wrister a little bit wide, and he'll dig it out of the corner. And that shot turned away. And now getting in there is Dan Kirk. Kirk in front of the net, puts it off the side of the net. It's picked up by Nick Chuslow. You got Nick Chuslow, Hunter McKelney, and Cooper DiCristofaro as your starting forwards for the Panthers. As Sheamus works it up the far side, just past the reach of Quinlan, both teams Already making an early line change as Dutcher sends it back to Robbie Sapinaro. And now working up the far side is Sam Farrell. Here comes Farrell, he has speed, look out. Backhander and it's off the side of the net. Sheamus gets a stick on it as Sapinaro trying to dig it out. And Sheamus wraps it around to the near side. A quick shot there by Holliston. And now here's a shot from the high slot. It's gonna be turned away off of Manser. That shot was by Dutcher and now here comes the Hillers, Mira is gonna go just wide. And we are right in to the thick of action here, right at the start of this TVL large matchup as Dutcher will pick it up. A good couple first shifts here for the Hillers with some good shots on. And looking for a shot there was Carraza, and now following up was Jarrett, sends it wide. Weinstock trying to dig it out of the corner. Weinstock takes a little bit of a check as Carraza gets in there as well. He'll send it back to Jarrett. Jarrett looking for a shot. Turned away by Quattrimoni. It'll be digged out by Carraza. And there's a shot. A little bit wide there. On that attempt, that was Weinstock. And now up the near side is Farrell. He's going to be turned away. Farrell sends it flying, and it's picked up by Carraza. Backhanded pass over to Aiden Walsh. He will send it to the near side. Joe Williams gets the stick on it for Holliston. Sent back down and around by Carraza. Hamlet skating over, trying to get to the puck, and now so is Gilbert. He'll deliver a nice hit to Joe Williams. Holliston trying to establish something in the Hiller zone. Tom Nappy, Eric Cardi, happy to be with you here at the New England Sports Center this evening. Joe Frackleton on camera, and look out, here comes Sean Walsh. Walsh racing in, it will get a shot off, and then Hamlet follows up, and it's gonna be just wrapped up by Quattrimoni. Great save there by Quattrimoni. A nice move by Sean Walsh to get the outside around the defender and hit Tommy Hamlet coming right down the slot. But great save. Hamlet would like to have that one back. He had a pretty open five hole there. This faceoff comes with 11.42 left to go in the first period. And I think that was the first stoppage we saw of the game as Deke Cristofaro trying to work up into Hiller's territory. There's a shot. And it's going to be turned away. A nice job by Saporosha. It's getting his body in front of it. He's off the stick of McKelney. Sent to the neutral zone. Lab picks it up. And now here's Walsh. Walsh will pop it off the glass towards Hamlet. Now Gilbert is going to work it up the ice. Along the boards he goes. And we'll get a whistle here for an icing. Just need to take one more stride to gain that red line before he fired that in. But I tell you, so far, Hollis and Farrell's really Press me with his speed, but Hill is going to have to be careful. Keep an eye on him tonight. This faceoff comes with 11:15 left to go in the first period. Mara works into the far side. Quinlan racing up. 
Quinlan towards the front of the net, and there's a shot turned away. That was off the stick of Kerr, and we get a whistle. And it looks like the net came out of place. Fox Moyes had to come up big here so far. A couple of really nice glove saves. The Hillers have had a couple of good shots there at some open net, and he's made some nice glove saves. Good pressure by the Hillers starting things off here. This faceoff comes with 11.02 left. And both of these teams have very good speed, so it should certainly be a fast-moving game. Dan Kirk up against Sam Farrell. Sheamus at the blue line. Sends it over to the trapezoid. Quinlan with the backhanded pass. There's a shot by Mara off the side of the net. It's picked up along the near side by Payne for Holliston as Julian Payne sends it up towards Farrell. And now back to the neutral zone. Mara picks it up. Tripped up is Sheamus. Mara sends it down over towards Kirk. Kirk racing up the near side, trying to get by Payne. And we're going to get a whistle here offsides. Both teams will switch things up out on the ice. And we'll have a face-off on the near side of the neutral zone with 10.39 left to go. Carraza up against Fanara. And that's set down by Barnes. Up and around it goes along the far side. Picked up behind the net by Lab, who was contested by Weinstock. Jared trying to dig it out now as Aiden Walsh gets involved in the action. Walsh racing around the net, trying to get to it. And he's going to be cut off by Lab, but now it's taken by Weinstock. Weinstock sends it out over to Jarrett. Jarrett trying to put it into the slot area, and it's taken by Fanara. Fanara trying to work into the Hiller zone, but Carraza has other plans. Sends it up to Aiden Walsh. Walsh with a shot, and it's going to be wrapped up by Quattromoni as Carraza was quickly approaching. A good bit back checking there by the Hill as Holliston had a three on two initially. Uh, but great back checking with Carraza and, and the other forwards to get back there and break that up before they even enter the zone. Taking a look at the rest of the schedule for the Hillers, they'll be heading to Martha's Vineyard to finish off the season in a tournament. And all those games will count as well. As that shot turned away by Quattromoni, that was off the stick of Barnes along the far side. Now Hamblett is going to bat it around. And now Walsh steals it away, sends it out, and just through the legs of Rogers it goes back into the Hiller zone. Barnes will track it down. Barnes pops it off the boards over to Rogers, and now it's sent back up by De Cristofaro. Cooper De Cristofaro, one of the Holliston captains, trying to get to it, and he's going to be stopped by Rogers. Here comes Jarrett. Cam Jarrett, who's come on strong as of late for the Hillers, has had a few points in the last couple of games. Hunter McKelney trying to work up the ice. Big collision towards the Hiller zone as Jarrett will get to the puck. Falling to the ice with Schneelock. Christian Schneelock, also a football player for the Holliston Panthers. And now here comes Walsh racing up the ice. And we're going to have it offsides, I believe. Yeah, puck just jumped on him right as he got to the blue line. Lost the handle. This faceoff comes with 9.01 left to go. Packed house here tonight. Sent back by Kirk. Saporosic sends it into the Holliston zone. And now Dutcher will send it up the far side. And high stick. Play the puck on the high stick. He's going to face off back to the Hill of Zone. This faceoff comes at 8.54. Kirk up against Sapanaro. Sent to the Hillers net, turned away by Bailey. Sapanaro trying to track it down along the corner. Sapanaro sending it to the blue line, and now here comes Quinlan. Quinlan over to Mara. Mara looking for a shot, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. Good look there by Quinlan. Gained the blue line and pulled up and waited for Mara to come down the middle. Hit him with a nice pass. Got a good shot off. And the official checking in on uh, Nico Quattrimoni to make sure he's okay. Perhaps he got a little shooken up after that. Dan Kirk up against Sapanaro. Racing up the ice, Farrell, and it's stolen away. Quinlan popped off the boards by a lab as Saporoshitz will send it around. Kirk trying to pick it up along the far side. He's looking to send it back to Quinlan, but 
He was diverted there as Gilbert sends it forward, and now it is taken by Kirk, sends it over to Mara, shot, and it's turned away. Along the corner on the far side, as Mara just able to get the stick on it to send it over to Saparoshitz, who takes a shot, and then a hard hit into the glass as Kirk sends it around to Quinlan. Quinlan trying to dig it out of the trapezoid area. Now it is back over to Manser. And there's a quick shot by Sheamus, a little bit wide there. Quinlan back to Kirk. Kirk out to Quinlan, and now Sheamus with a shot, and Quattrimoni will have a glove save. A good puck control there by the Hillers, and defense doing a great job keeping that puck in twice on the point. Zaporosius with one of them, and Gilbert with the other to keep that play alive down in the Holliston end. Joe Carraza up against Fanara. Along the near side, Weinstock trying to dig it out. Weinstock gets around a couple of Panthers, but now has it stolen away by Payne. Payne sends it over towards Williams. And Halston trying to create something here, but Sheamus has something to say about that. Around the net goes Sheamus, sends it up the near side, and it'll go back into Halston territory. Dutcher with possession behind the net. Carraza trying to steal it away. Leaves it out into the slot area. And Walsh just couldn't get there in time. Manser sends it up to Carraza. Carraza will send it back around. Hamblet trying to get there. Hamblet out to Carraza. Bounces off his stick. Now over to Sheamus who takes a shot and it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni. Yeah, good forechecking again by the Hill. Is there Doing a real good job of possessing the puck. They're making smart plays, getting good passes, cycling the puck around, and they're getting plenty of chances. Well, the Holliston Panthers on a two-game winning streak. They have shut out their opponent in their previous two games, a 6-0 win over Norton and a 4-0 win over Ashland. In their last eight, however, they have two wins, five losses, and a tie, so certainly looking to get back on the winning track tonight. Holliston has already clinched a playoff spot. We'll have a face-off in the neutral zone. Excuse me, in Holliston territory. Sean Walsh will get in there to face off against Cooper Di Cristofaro. There's a quick shot wrapped up by Quattrimoni. Hillers love to do that. Shot yep. right off the face off. Yeah, they're very good at that. Coached well and have that off wing come across and take a shot. Sent over to the near side. Barnes trying to get a stick in there. Hamblet was tied up and now is able to get to the puck as he takes a couple bumps into the boards by DeCristofaro. Working up the near side, McKelney. Sends it forward, Jarrett's there to pick it up. He'll pop it off the boards, over to Hamblet it goes. Hamblet trying to dig it out. We'll run into some traffic, but is able to send it around towards the corner. So far, the Hillers winning the possession battle and certainly the shooting battle, but we are scoreless here in the first period. Approaching 6-10 left to go, and we get a whistle. Another high stick. Over to the Hillers zone we go. Off the high stick call. Gray Bailey hasn't seen quite any action yet. I don't know if Hollison's had maybe one shot on that so far that I can pick up. Dan Kirk up against Sam Farrell on the faceoff. Along the near side it goes. Tracked down by Payne, who takes a hit into the boards. And now Saponaro trying to work it up the ice. Saponaro takes a shot a little high there. Along the near side. A number of players on both sides trying to dig it out. They squirt over to the corner. And then it was sent out and past Dutcher back into Holliston territory. Quinlan trying to get there. Kirk. And Kirk goes back and forth with Farrell before sending it around. Picked up behind the net by Dutcher. We'll send it flying up the far side. And now Sapanaro looking for a shot. And it's turned away by Bailey. And then Gilbert will pop it around on the air side. Gilbert off the glass. And now here comes Joe Carraza. Peraza scored his first goal recently of the season. Up behind the net is Payne. Payne sends it along the far side towards Gary. Aiden Walsh 
Over to Carraza. Carraza with a wrister, and that's high. Along the far side, Payne. Trying to get in there, Aiden Walsh. And Walsh trying to box out Payne. Hamlet gets in there now, and Walsh comes away with the puck. Walsh takes a hit into the backboards. Back and forth we go. Hamlet trying to turn it around. Walsh is attempting to send it to Sheamus. It's thrown away by Farrell. Farrell takes a long shot. Turned away by Bailey, and it's picked up by Manser. Walsh. And it's just past the reach of Rogers. We'll have an icing. Good save there by Bailey as Farrell got a lot on that puck from far out and started to rise. Bailey got a shoulder on it. We'll have a face-off at 4.24 left to go in the first period. Sean Walsh up against Trevor Fanara. Manser sends it around, just past the reach of Rogers. Now here comes Rogers, sending it up to Walsh. Walsh on a break, works into the left circle, takes a shot, turned away. Rogers on a secondary shot, and it went off of Hamlet. Hamlet now trying to put it in front. Over to Sheamus, he goes along the near side, takes a shot. It's deflected off the, the stick of a Panther. That play it goes off the stick of Chuslow. Good work by Tommy Hamlet down low as he fought off two defenders to get that puck back to the point for another shot on with a good tip. And we'll have a face off at four minutes left to go in the first period. Dan Kirk up against Cooper Di Cristofaro. Kirk tripped up along the near side, sends it back over to Barnes, who takes a shot and it's deflected away. Mara sends it around and sending it up the near side to Christopher. There's a shot by Barnes and it's deflected off the stick of Schneelock. Picked up by Lab. Lab trying to work up the ice quickly and Quinlan is there to try to poke it out. Holliston. Trying to work their way in Ehlers' territory. Sent around by De Cristofaro. Along the near side it goes. And it's going to be sent into the protective netting off the stick of Dutcher. We'll have a face off at 321. Good action here so far, Tom. Fast moving period with both teams showing good progressive speed. It certainly is. Non-stop action to start off this game tonight. And the Hillers got an early lead the last time they played Hollis, and the Panthers certainly trying to avoid that tonight. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff against Sapanaro. Sent over by Barnes, here comes Jarrett. Jarrett will wrap it around. Weinstock trying to get there. Jammed up along the corner, sent out by Aiden Walsh, just past the reach of Carraza. And now here comes Halston. Farrell trying to work up the ice, to, diverted by Barnes. And now Carraza on a break. Carraza rushing in, takes a shot, it's wide. And a good job by Dutcher getting a stick in there. And there's another shot by Gilbert, bringing the power and Quattromoni able to wrap it up. Yeah, Hill is doing a real good job, the defenseman. Uh... Barnes there made a nice play at the blue line, stopping Hollison's progress and then sending the Hillers again on a break. We'll have a face off at 2.52 left to go. Walsh up against Di Cristofaro. Hamlet takes a shot, glove save, Quattrimone. Walsh up against De Cristofaro. Back to Hamlet. Over to Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz with a shot, turned away. Hamlet picks it up. Hamlet sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert bringing the power out in front it goes as it was deflected away by Quattrimoni. Sent up into the neutral zone by Dutcher. Sending it right back as Saporoshitz over towards Hamlet. It'll squirt over to the near side corner. Hamlet trying to get it out of the traffic jam. Now Walsh pops it over to Saporoshitz. It got by him. Gilbert will track it down. Gilbert over to Rogers. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Rogers gets there. 
Over to Walsh. Walsh trying to break away, but he was diverted by Dutcher. And Dutcher and Gilbert just kind of hitting it back and forth for a few seconds there, and we get a whistle. At 149 left to go. And we'll have a face-off in the Holliston defensive zone off the high stick call. Dan Kirk up against Sapanaro. Over to the corner. Along the near side now. Picked up by Farrell. Mera trying to come up from behind the net. He's jammed up now along the corner. Holliston trying to work it up into Hiller's territory, but having all kinds of problems. But now Lab on a break. Lab looking for a shot and just too many Hillers in his way. Over to the far side corner it goes. Gary gets there. Now it is quickly going to be deflected back into Holliston territory. Picked up by Farrell. Farrell has some speed, but couldn't get by Manser that time. And now Kirk working it up the near side. Kirk takes it around, sends it over to Manser. Now Sheamus. Sheamus puts it over towards the corner. Mera pops it over to Quinlan, jammed up with Sapanaro along the backboard. Taken by Lab. Sapanaro sends it up the far side of Mestrangelo. And now it's stolen away by Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot here. Sends it over to Mera. Mera with the shot. And it is off the top of the net. Went right off the crossbar, I believe. Quinlan sends it over to Mera. Hill is going to go on a power play here. There you have it. The puck just bounced on Miratai. He had the open net, but he just couldn't get the puck to settle down. Had to make one extra step, and that just took him outside. Just to the net. I wasn't sure if Quattrimoni got a piece or if it was the net or the uh, crossbar. This faceoff comes with 29 seconds left to go in the first period. Robbie Sapanaro heading to the penalty box for the Holliston Panthers. The Hillers will have the man advantage for the next two minutes of action. And of course, unless they score here, it will go into the second period. Hamlet with the shot, and it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni. Hamlet wants that one back. Holliston making a substitution. Sam Farrell back into the game. He'll face off against Pavimera. Rogers with a quick shot turned away. And up the near side, Gilbert able to wrap it around. Off of Mera. Rogers sends it back to Walsh. Now Mera. Over to Gilbert. The power. And out in front of the net, it's deflected away. I believe it was Tommy Lab able to deflect it away from for Holliston, and at the end of one, it's Holliston nothing and Hopkinton nothing, but to start off the second period, the Hillers will be on the power play for at least one minute and 32 seconds. A pretty action-packed first period, Eric. Yeah, as a coach, uh, you couldn't ask for anything more out of the Hillers. The defense are just doing an incredible job at their own blue line, not allowing Holliston even advance. They're stepping up and taking them out, and then the offensive end, the Hillers are just playing keep away. They're doing a great job keeping pucks hit and getting lots of shots. The only thing I'd like to maybe see him do is get a little more traffic in front and get those shots a little lower, get some tips. Quattromoni's got a real good glove, and he's made some good saves so far. Well, it looks like we have ourselves a good one here on Senior Night at the New England Sports Center. After one, we are scoreless. Second period coming up next on HCAM. And welcome back into the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the second period of this TBL Large matchup between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Holliston Panthers. Tom Nappy alongside Eric Cardi on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. And the Hillers will start off the second period on the power play. There was a minute 32 seconds left to go on the power play as the first period came to a close. And I think in a matchup like this, that seems like it's going to be a low scoring one. You've got to take advantage of these power play situations. Exactly, yeah, they got a fresh sheet of ice, starting off the period fresh and rested. Uh, they, they've had a good job so far this year coming out at the beginning of periods. 
So it'd be a good chance to do that right now with the power play. Miller is working right to left across your screen for the second period as Gilbert leaves it out for Walsh. Walsh sends it up the far side towards Mara. Here comes Mara quickly approaching. Around the net he goes, over to Walsh at the blue line. Back to Mara now at the top of the circle. And Gilbert trying to poke it in. Walsh, and it's turned away, went off of Tommy Lab. Mara sends it over to Gilbert. Gilbert to Walsh. Walsh to Hamblin, it got by him. Over to the corner it goes. 48 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Roger is going to work it around the net. Mara. Trying to dig it out of the corner, gets it over to Walsh. Walsh with a quick shot. And Hamblet was in front of the net trying to poke it in, but it was turned away by Quattrimoni. Some good goaltending so far in this game by both sides. Bailey leaves it for Walsh. 19 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Hopkinson gonna make one last effort here with the man advantage. Walsh sends it over to Mara. Mara takes a shot, it's turned away. Along the corner now on the near side and it's sent up by Tommy Lab. a successful penalty kill for Holliston. We will have icing here. Well, Hill was with some good puck movement on the power play. A couple of tips in front, but didn't, was unable to get everything directed at the net. Well, Quattrimoni has certainly been effective for the Panthers. Dan Kirk on the faceoff up against Sapanaro. Kirk with a quick shot a little wide. And then Weinstock delivers a big hit. And now it's sent over by Quillen out in front of the net. And Kirk was trying to dig it in. He's tripped up and it's stolen away by Farrell. And sent back down out in front, turned away by Quinlan. Kirk waiting for it. Jammed up along the corner. Kirk gets in there to try to dig it out. And there's a Manser sending it up and around. Weinstock. Sends it behind the net over to Kirk. Kirk pops it off the boards over to Manser. Manser with a wrister and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. quattromoni has been a lot busier on this five on five shift here than he was on the power play. The Hill is getting some good looks here on that shift. Joe Carraza in on the face off for the Hillers. He's up against Di Cristofaro. Sent around by Barnes. Dutcher got a piece of it. It's sent right back down by the Hillers. Hillers certainly have the advantage possession-wise so far into this game. But we are still scoreless. And now Barnes trying to track it down before Schneela can get there. Backhanded pass over to Jarrett. And now Aiden Walsh trying to send it up. Jarrett gets in there. Barnes with possession along the corner. Here comes Barnes and he's tripped up. And I think we're gonna have a delayed penalty here. And now Carraza will send it around. Walsh along the near side. Walsh sends it over and there's a quick shot turned away. That was off the stick of Toko. Sent out over to Jarrett and now we get a whistle as a stick goes flying out of the hands of McKelney. And the delayed penalty will go into effect. Christian Schneelock heading into the box for tripping. Now Barnes with a great play down low. He was able to maneuver that puck and get around two Hollison defenders. And the third one wasn't going to let him get by him. Stuck his leg out the only way they were going to stop him. But good play there by Barnes. Pavit Mara in on the faceoff against Farrell. Gilbert, Walsh. Just past the reach of Rogers. Now to Hamlet. Over to the near side of Mara. Hamlet. Along the corner, trying to send it out. Walsh. Power by Gilbert, and it's a glove save by Quattrimoni. 
you're either going to get the power by Gilbert or a pass. You never know what's coming. Yeah. Again, the Hill is just going to try to get some bodies in front of Quachamole. If he's able to see those, he's going to stop them all day with that glove. And they're up against Farrell Rogers. Trying to set it back to Gilbert. Picked up by Rogers. Nearly a trip there. As he'll send it to the corner along the far side. Gilbert. Could not get the stick on it, and Holliston able to send it away. 120 remaining on the Hopkinton power play. 11 minutes and counting remaining in the second period. Pavit Mara working up the ice. Mara letting the Hillers regroup. Sends it towards Rogers, who tripped up. And we get a whistle. The icing here on the Hillers. Looks like maybe a bit of a rough surface out there. A lot of uh, tripping going on. And I noticed the puck jumped a few times so far on a couple of the players too. Well, there's certainly been a lot of hockey on this ice in the last few days, last few weeks, as Gilbert is racing up the ice. He'll send it around. Mara. Over to Walsh. Walsh takes a shot out in front, and it's just wide. Jammed up along the far side corner now. Rogers trying to dig it out. He'll send it back to Gilbert. Gilbert to Rogers. Now Gilbert with a shot, and it is off the stick of Mara into the corner. He was hoping Mara would be able to sneak it in. Gilbert to Mara, just wide. Rogers. Gilbert pops it off the board to Rogers. 19 seconds left on the Hillers power play. Gilbert to Walsh. Walsh cross to Rogers. Rogers cross to Walsh on a one-timer and it's in! Sean Walsh, goal number 17. What a beauty! Good play there, good luck, good pass across. As Quattamoy could not get back in time as Walsh was able to blast that high in the top corner. 1-0 Hillers at 9.51 left to go in the second period. Well, they had lots of good looks on that, lots of deflections. Unfortunately, they were deflecting them wide of Guatemala, but uh, they said good luck there, the last play there, and good shot. Goal number 17 for Sean Walsh, point number 46. Sheamus sends it up the far side as Quattrimone gets the stick out there. Sheamus takes a quick shot, a little wide there. Good power. Benara sends it around. That was Rogers' 18th assist of the season, his 40th point of the year. Here comes Kirk, trying to send it out to Quinlan. It's stolen away. Taken by Fanara. Picked up by Sheamus. Up to Weinstock. Along the far side, Sheamus with a backhander. Sends that just wide to the left. Along the near side, Quinlan trying to dig it out along with Kirk. And now getting in there is Toko, and Toko puts it out in front, and a shot, and it's turned away. What a save by Quattrimoni. Dan Kirk had a good angle on that one. And Toko. He's trying to go for the wrister there. Now out in front once again, turned away by Quattrimoni. Kirk out to Quinlan, and Quinlan takes a shot, and it's just wide. Along the near side corner, trying to control his lob. The Hillers putting the pressure on as the puck goes flying into the stands. Good attack zone time there again for that line, and uh, what a save there by Quattrimoni. I thought for sure Kirk had that one, and up with another big save. He's really keeping the Panthers in this one. Well, somehow Halston gets even a point out of this game. I think they uh, will certainly owe Quattrimoni a nice dinner or something. <laughs> He's been hard at work tonight. Along the backboards, Dutcher trying to dig it out. Here comes Dutcher up the far side. He'll send it over to Farrell. Farrell trying to break away. Certainly has that potential. And now here comes the Hillers. Carraza racing down Rister and a glove save. Well, 
Lassimone scoops it up and we'll have a faceoff with 8.02 left to go in the second period. Well, Sean Walsh back for his, back after uh, missing two games and is certainly uh, making an impact in this one so far. Jarrett back to Walsh. Jammed up along the corner now. Rogers comes out with it. Jarrett sends it over. Barnes sends it to the corner to Hamlet. Hamlet jammed up. And here comes Halston trying to work up the ice, but Walsh has something to say about that as he'll send it flying along the far side. Glad the official was able to get out of the way. Walsh trying to get to it. And he's jammed up with Dutcher. And now Rogers comes out with it, sends it in front shot, and it is wrapped up by Quattromoni off the stick of Hamlet. Another great opportunity there, another great passing play by the Hillers. And Hamlet got a good shot off, but Quattromoni with that glove has it's been hot tonight. Cat like reflexes by Nico Quattromoni. Dan Kirk up against Robbie Saponaro. Mera looking for Kirk and a slow roller, but Tremoni wraps it up. Well, goaltending has certainly been a highlight of the season for the Holliston Panthers. They've won many close games as Kirk sends it over to the back of the net. And then trying to dig it out is Mera. And then Gilbert with a quick shot. That's deflected. Along the far side, sent out in front. Quinlan trying to get there, but will not as he was tied up with Chuslow. We'll have a face off at 6.52 left to go. Second period, 6.52 left. Hiller is leading Holliston one to nothing. And quick shot by Mara, turned away by Quattromoni. And now it's stolen away by Gilbert. Gilbert along the far side doing battle with pain, and we're gonna get a whistle here, slashing. There we go. Made a good play, the line to break that up and get it in deep. Just a little bit too much stick on him. It looks like Holliston's going to be in the power play for the next couple of minutes. And Gray Bailey, who's been resting for a while, will get to work now. I don't think he's had to move in the last four or five minutes. It's pretty amazing this game is only one to nothing, and you could credit that to the tremendous goaltending and equal quattromony because the Hillers are certainly putting the pressure on. And they're getting good shot opportunities, but just some terrific goaltending. Holliston with the man advantage. Rogers trying to send it up, and there's a shot wrapped up by Bailey. That was off the stick of Dutcher. Good keep in there by Dutcher to keep that play alive. Face off comes with 6.24 left to go in the period. 1.44 left on the power play. Sheamus trying to get to it, takes a hack at it. Sends it flying up the far side into Holliston territory. Good send off there. Rogers is racing up, trying to sneak up on Quattromoni. Taking it up and around is Dutcher. Sent it flying up the far side. Sheamus sends it right back. A couple of good plays there by Sheamus on this shift. Break plays up and send it down. Lab along the near side of De Cristofaro. Sends it across to McKelney. McKelney sends it back to Dutcher. Dutcher and Walsh along the far side. Walsh trying to come away with it. Walsh on a break. Look out, here he comes. Walsh going in, and he'll put it in. 2 nothing Hillers. Sean Walsh on the breakaway. Always got to be cognizant when he's out there, especially in the penalty kill when there's a little bit more ice. He's got that speed. Let me make sure he's, you're not the last guy with him coming up on you. Well, the uh, Panthers may have had the man advantage, but when you let Sean Walsh get an open break for the net, doesn't mean much. A big goal there. That goal was so good, they're giving him an extra goal on the uh, scoreboard. 
Barnes up behind the net, sends it up to Quinlan, who will send it flying into Holliston territory. 48 seconds left on the Holliston power play. 5.24 and counting, left to go in the second period as, Rod, as Quinlan trying to sneak in there and steal it, sends it out just past the reach of Kerr. And there's a shot by Jarrett and it's sent out of play off the stick of Quattromoni. It has been an incredible uh, penalty kill so far yeah, by Hill's, the Hillers. Hill's doing a great job. First part of that shift, great defensively, breaking up plays and sent it down icing and then getting the offense generated off the end. Well, the face off in the neutral zone. Dan Kirk up against Sapanaro. Sean Walsh so far tonight has scored his 17th and 18th goal of the season. And Coach McPherson having a couple words with the official. And now Kirk trying to break away. Here comes Kirk. He'll take a shot. It's deflected. And then Quinlan was trying for a secondary shot, but he was diverted. And now working up the near side is De Cristofaro. He will be tripped up along the boards. Kirk trying to get the stick in there to steal it away from Sapanaro, and he does. Here comes Kirk. Kirk trying to take it around, sends it over to the near side. And Kirk with a collision with Sapanaro, and Kirk won that battle. A good work by Kirk Digg, fighting off several Panthers. Barnes gets the stick in there. And now Lab sends it up the near side towards De Cristofaro. De Cristofaro with a shot, and it is just high. Sent out by Sapanaro, but no one there. As Jarrett was able to deflect it away. Kirk now trying to get to it. And we are at even strength. There's a wrister and a glove save by Bailey. Sam Farrell on the shot. We'll have a faceoff at 4.15 left to go in the second period. And how about Sean Walsh? 47 points on the season. Joe Carraza in on the faceoff. That shot by Lab deflected off of Barnes, and Barnes trying to come away with it. Aiden Walsh going to get there. Walsh quickly approaching, leaves it out in front. The poke in by Marin. It's wrapped up by Quattromoni. And Walsh was harassed the whole way in. Very easily could have been a penalty, but he still was able to get a good shot off and almost a rebound there out front for Carraza. Mara is trying to poke it right through the five hole. Unbelievable goaltending by Quattromoni. Carraza up against Fanara. Mara, along the near side. Over to Gilbert. Mara behind the net. I just feel like you could have the most unbelievable goaltending, but you keep letting the other team get this amount of pressure on you, you're not going to win. We'll see if Holliston can get something going here. As we have a battle in the neutral zone, sent up by Saporoshitz, and we get a whistle. Or no, we don't, excuse me. Carraza sent back to Saporoshitz, and he'll send it around. I think there should have probably been a penalty there, but that's okay. <laughs> we won't talk about it. Saporoshitz off the stick of Walsh. Here comes Hamblin. Back to Walsh, deflected high in the air off the banners out of play. 3.02 left to go in the second period. Tremendous pressure by the Hillers continues. Holliston with a couple substitutions. Walsh will face off against De Cristofaro. Over to the far side boards it goes, trying to pick it up his pain. Walsh with the backhanded pass, looking for Rogers. Now trying to dig it out, De Cristofaro along the near side, off the stick of Rogers it goes. Jammed up along the boards, and coming away with it is Dutcher. Dutcher sends it over to Payne. And Holliston finally works their way into Hiller's territory, picked up by Manser. Manser along the near side, there's a quick shot turned away by Bailey. Nice shot by De Cristofaro. Sheamus. Sends it to the neutral zone. Manser trying to get there. 
And he is able to put it in Holliston territory up against the stick of Schneelock. And now out in front, shot, goal, Hamlet. Walsh on the assist. Sean Walsh with a great steal there. Just took it right away from the defender and made a beautiful pass out front to Hamlet. Three nothing Hillers with 2.15 left to go in the second period. Well, the Hill is just doing it all three ways they can. They've had a power play goal, a shorthanded goal, and now even strength goal in this period. Sean Walsh racking up three points in this game. That's his 30th assist of the season. Is now 48th point. And the Hillers trying to get right back to the pressure. Kirk sends it over to the near side. That was Hamlet's 15th goal of the season, 38th point. Jammed up along the corner. Quinlan trying to sneak it out. Quinlan. Loose puck picked up by Mara. He'll take a shot a little high there. Just under two minutes left to go in the second period. As Quinlan's going to jam up Chuslow, lost a stick behind the boards. Out in front, Mara trying to get to it. And then Barnes comes racing in, and it's just sent away by Lab. Along the far side, Farrell looking for a break, but Jared has other ideas. Along the board, set to the blue line. Barnes gets a stick in there, out in front of the Hiller's net, but Jarrett picks it up. Good job by Barnes here, as it was two Holliston defenders down front. It was just Barnes, he made a great play of stick check to keep them from getting that puck out front. Jarrett sent it out of play. We'll have a face off in the Hiller's defensive zone with 116 left to go in the second period. Joe Carraza on the faceoff against Trevor Fanara. Gilbert sends it up the near side to Aiden Walsh, and it's turned around by Holliston, but quickly picked up back ice by Gilbert. Saparoshin up to Weinstock, pops it off the boards. Carraza. Carraza and Aiden Walsh try to race up the ice. And Carraza going to get tripped up with Fanara, and that'll lead to a whistle. I think we got a penalty coming up on. Hillers. Oh, not one Hollis, excuse me. Interference. We're going to get Kevin Corbett with two minutes in the box, and the Hillers will have a man advantage. 56 seconds left in the second period. So, unless the Hillers score in this final 56 seconds, we'll have the man advantage to start out the third period. Gilbert. Over to Rogers. Rogers was trying to sneak in a shot there, but was turned away. Reaches the stick in there. Now Hamlet is going back and forth with De Cristofaro, who's able to win that battle. Walsh picks it up. Here comes Walsh racing up the ice. Up the near side he comes. A pair of Panthers in front of him sends it over to Hamlet. Now back to Mara. Over to Gilbert. Gilbert. Trying to put it off the stick of Walsh. Hamlet. Back to Walsh. Hamlet. Looking for a shot here. Sends it out to Walsh. Walsh to Gilbert. The power turned away by Quattrimoni. And it's stolen away by Hamlet. Out to Walsh. Gilbert. And Hamlet was trying to deflect it in. And that'll do it for the second period. The Hillers went in to the locker room after the first period, having not scored yet, but they netted three goals in this second period, despite very good goaltending by Holliston's Nico Quattrimoni, but the Hillers just providing continuous pressure all game long so far, Eric. It's been very impressive. Yeah, strong period for the Hillers there. You know if you, when you keep having that much of a relentless attack that eventually you're gonna get one in, and after you get that first one, they tend to start coming more frequently. So. The, Hillers with a great job, especially with the, the specialty teams there. The Hillers will still be on the power play for a minute and five seconds to start off the third period. And things are looking good in the regular season home finale. After two, the Hopkinton Hillers lead the Holliston Panthers three to nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAN. Welcome back into the New England Sports Center. We are just about ready for the third period. The Hillers leading three to nothing 
here on senior night. Eight seniors. I make that 10 seniors <laughs> being celebrated today. And it's 10 seniors that have contributed heavily to this Hopkinton Hillers program. All three goals for the Hillers came in the second period. Sean Walsh responsible for the first two and assisted in the third one, which was scored by Tommy Hamblett. Kyle Rogers with the assist on the first one. An impressive period for the Hillers. They just continued to dominate possession-wise and took countless shots on net. And heading into this third period, they will be on the power play for at least the first minute and five seconds. And the Hillers trying to improve to 16 and one on this season. What a year it has been. And of course, there could still be a long way to go if the Hillers have it their way. Hopkinton working left to right across your screen for the third period as Pavit Merrill works it up the far side. Hillers with a man advantage off the Hollison penalty towards the end of the second. Gilbert sends it over to Mara. Mara bounces it off the boards of Walsh. Walsh bounces it right back to Mara. To Gilbert. Back to Walsh. Walsh takes a shot, a glove saved by Quattrimoni. Hollison being a little bit more aggressive in this kill, trying to keep those shots from getting in down low, keeping it out on the outside the defenseman. On the faceoff, it's Pavit Mera up against Cooper Di Cristofaro. It's sent up past the reach of Walsh. Into the Hillers defensive zone it goes. Gilbert trying to get to it. And it's taken by Schneelock for the moment. Up behind the net he goes. And Gilbert able to steal it away. As he sends it up the near side, just past the reach of Rogers, and I'll draw a nice hit. Good look, just missed Rogers' stick. We'll have a face-off with 12 seconds left to go on the Hopkinton power play. So far, a successful kill by the Hollison Panthers. Picked up by De Cristofaro along the near side corner. Seamus trying to knock it out. Mara gets in there. There's a shot wide to the left off the stick of Dutcher for Holliston. Quinlan along the far side as it was deflected away by McKelney to the corner. And now Mara trying to dig it out as he'll send it towards Kirk and into the Holliston defensive zone it goes. But we'll have a whistle and this will be an icing. Hollison showing a little bit more life here to start the period. They know if they've got to get back in this, they've got to score one early here. They certainly are. I don't think they want Hopkinton to put as much pressure on them as they did last period. Barnes sends it over to Walsh. Walsh with the backhander into the Holliston defensive zone. Weinstock trying to get to it in the corner. Sent over by Carraza. Carraza. Jammed up along the near side corner as Mistrangelo had the puck jammed up and now Sapanaro comes away with it. Past Garaza he goes, and now trying to work past Weinstock and he's trying to put it towards the middle, but Weinstock knocked it back towards the corner and now it's jammed up as Jarrett gets in there as well as Carraza. A traffic jam along the corner and the Hillers win that battle. Here comes Carraza. Carraza racing up the ice. Backhander, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. A glove save there. Good move by Carraza to give himself an opportunity to get a shot on net. Threw it over to the backhand. We'll have a faceoff with 12.42 left to go in the game. Sean Walsh up against Cooper de Cristofaro. Hamlet sends it over to Saporoshitz. Saporoshitz takes a shot and it's deflected out in front. Able to get there was Di Cristofaro. Another good save by Quattrimoni. Jammed up along the boards. Turned around by Gilbert. 
And the flick over by Lab towards the corner. Gilbert gets the stick in there. Jammed up along the boards now. Here comes Schneelock. He'll work it forward. And Saparoshitz is there to steal it away. He'll pop it off the boards over towards Hamlet. And just past Rogers it goes. Gilbert trying to turn it around. Just under 12 minutes left to go in the game. There's a quick shot and a nice job by Saparoshitz getting the stick in front of it. Holliston trying to set something up and Saparoshitz able to divert McKelney. De Cristofaro had a nice pass looking for McKelney, but Saparoshitz said, no, you don't. Back to the neutral zone. Now we have a breakaway working up the ice is Rogers, and he'll be diverted by Chuslow. Rogers. Sends it over, and a quick shot there by Manser. It's turned away. Taking a hit along the near side is Corbett. A big hit delivered by Rogers. And Walsh trying to get to the puck. Walsh on a bit of a break. A nice move there. And the puck is loose, and it got away from Quattrimoni. I believe he got a piece of it as Walsh was approaching. And then Mero was behind the net trying to pick it up. Yeah, I think Mero actually got a shot off in front of him. Quattrimoni made a save. Mara quickly approaching around the net, trying to sneak it in, and Quattromoni turns it away, and we have a whistle. Net off the moorings. Seems to be a common thing with this net every time we play down here. <laughs> I think it happens about three or four times every game. <laughs> this face-off will come with 10.52 left to go in the third. Well, the Hillers back to their old ways of just giving Countless amounts of pressure. And Mayor takes a shot, it went right off of Fanara. He was uh, grabbing at the leg area after that, but he seems to be okay. Dutcher knocks it up the near side and it's deflected back down by Barnes. And now here comes Dutcher once again. And he takes a big hit into the boards by Kirk. And we'll have a face off in the neutral zone. Off sides, 10.34 left to go. Dan Kirk up against Sapanaro. Kirk trying to race away with it. Knocks it up the near side over towards the corner. Picked up by Payne. And Payne puts it around towards Farrell. Farrell pass over to the neutral zone, but Jarrett was there. He puts it back up the far side. Tracked down by Sapanaro. Sapanaro trying to keep it away from Quinlan. And Dutcher. Trying to work up the ice with it, but Jarrett turns him away. Now here comes Payne. Jarrett has just been a pain today for Holliston. Every time they get close to the Ailer zone, he turns him away. Yeah, the defense has done an outstanding job tonight, standing the Panthers up right when they get to that blue line, giving them no opportunity to get around them. And the official having a discussion with Mara. Not uh, quite sure what about. I think just telling them that uh, your coach is trying to sub you out. Also trying to break free on the face off, but Gilbert turns away De Cristofaro. Along the near side we go. Here comes Carraza. Carraza working towards the corner. He's going to take it up and around. Sends it over to the far side boards of Saparoshitz. Back to Carraza. Carraza jammed up a little bit. Sends it to the corner. Weinstock picks it up. He has a couple Panthers around him, but able to get it to Aiden Walsh. And now racing up the near side is Holliston, Nick Chuslow. Back and forth we go in the neutral zone. Hiller's trying to just keep Holliston out of their defensive zone completely. And Gilbert got the stick in there on De Cristofaro, and we get a whistle. Will we have a penalty? Yeah, he's going to go for a trip. Good back check by Juan Weinstock there. So Holliston at the line. Well, Hollis and Oz are running out of time in this one. Nine minutes, 11 seconds left to go, but the Panthers will have the man advantage for the next two minutes. I wasn't quite sure if the official was gonna catch that little trip there, but he did. Along the near side, Lab trying to dig it out. Sends it up towards Sapanaro. Manser trying to get in there. And a nice send away. 
Seamus, good defensive play there. Quattrimoni sets it up for Dutcher. Approaching the minute, 30 mark left on the power play. Dutcher sends it over to the near side. Sapanaro picks it up. Walsh getting a stick in there, trying to steal it away. Sapanaro into the corner, and Sheamus gets in there and knocks it away. Over towards Manser, who gets a good hit on it. Back to the Holliston zone it goes, and Quattrimoni has to turn it away. Took a big hit after that, and he seems to be a little shooken up. Certainly hope that Dylan Manser is okay. He headed back to the bench. Lab sends it up the ice, and Bailey will have to wrap that one up. 59 seconds left on the Holliston power play, 809 left in the third. The Panthers haven't really been able to establish anything on this power play so far. The Hill has done a good job clearing it the length of the ice. Dan Kirk up against De Cristofaro. Trying to get a quick shot in there was Farrell, but a nice job by Quinlan sacrificing his body. Now there's a wrister by Lab wrapped up by Bailey. This faceoff comes with 8.01 left, 51 seconds left on the power play. Dan Kirk up against Cooper D. Cristofaro. Sent over by Quinlan, just past the reach of Lab. He'll get to it, send it over to the far side of Dutcher. Dutcher meets up with Kirk along the boards, now getting in there, Schneelock. Here comes Dutcher trying to work his way up, jammed up with a couple of hillers along the far side boards as Jarrett and Kirk got in there. Jarrett sends it away. Another good send away by Jarrett, who has been tremendous today in the defensive end. Along the far side, De Cristofaro. Racing up the ice, takes a shot, it's wide. Along the near side boards now, and Kirk comes away with it. Here comes Kirk. Kirk racing up the ice. And he'll take a body check, and the puck gets away from him. Lab sacrificing his body there. The Holliston power play has expired. We are at even strength as the Hillers change things up. Farrell racing up the far side. Up behind the net he goes, and he'll take some contact from Jarrett. Getting in on the corner is Barnes. And Carraza, and Barnes, a nice steal from Farrell as he'll send it up the near side. Good defense again there, and Barnes making a nice break up there. And we'll have an icing, 6.44 left to go in the third period. Well, Halston certainly putting a little more pressure on in this period, but the Hillers dealing with it well. Yep, and there's always that extra incentive when the Hopkins and Ashland or Hopkins and Holliston play as they play together on the Demons as kids. Raza in on the faceoff. Reese Griffiths into the game for the Hillers. Saporoshitz sends it up to Aiden Walsh, and now he'll pop it back up the far side. And it's sent across by McKelney, and now racing up with it is going to be Weinstock, and it's sent around by Aiden Walsh. Carraza getting in on the corner, trying to jam up Juslow. Now a big hit delivered by Aiden Walsh, and then Carraza with a follow-up hit. But here comes Joe Williams along the far side. Aiden Walsh quick to get over there and divert Joe Williams, and he'll send it back into Holliston territory. Along the far side, Chuslow. Past the reach of Fanara. Picked up by Walsh. Look out. Here comes Walsh. Got away from him a little bit. Able to send it to Rogers, and Rogers is going to put it off the face mask of Quattrimoni. Walsh turns it around, was looking for Rogers in the slot, and it gets by Griffiths along the near side. And Griffith's able to get the stick on it and send it down, and Fanaro is certainly frustrated about that. Uh, Wal Walsh kind of lost the handle of the puck there, and by default had to go behind the back to get Rogers with a good shot. Popped up in the air by Saporoshitz, it lands right in front of Rogers, and Rogers will send it down and around. Just under five minutes, 30 seconds left to go. Stolen away by Rogers. Sends it to Hamlet. Hamblett along the far side. Is he going to take the shot? Is he going to pass it? And he'll pass it over to Walsh. Walsh is turned away by Gary. Up behind the net is Rogers trying to get it out of the jam. Walsh comes away with it. Sends it over to Manser. Manser takes a shot. It's just wide. 
Sheamus gonna pick it up along the corner. Sheamus around the net he goes. His lab got a stick in there. Sheamus was able to bat it away. Mancer over to Walsh. Walsh takes a shot and it's turned away. It went off the stick of Rogers just before it went off the leg pad of Quattromoni. Along the corner now. Rogers trying to get it out of the jam. And he's tied up with a couple of Panthers there. Lost a stick in the process. Walsh sends it to Sheamus who takes a hard shot. It's wide. Hiller is back to putting the pressure on this Hollison Panthers team. And looking at the faces of the Panthers, they look frustrated. Yeah, I was just going to say, I think they're starting a little frustrated as they're trying to throw the body around a little more, a little extra hits in and around their own net there. So. Four minutes, 23 seconds left to go in the game. And the Hillers are putting the pressure on once again. Racing up the near side is McKelly. He's going to get jammed up with Barnes, and we get a whistle. It looks like we're going to have a penalty. It is going to be against the Hillers. We get Quentin Barnes. Interference. He's just trying to hold up the Panther player. He's going around the boards. Interference on Barnes. Halston will have the man advantage for at least the next two minutes. Quinlan sends it down. Picked up by Lab. Pass to reach a Dutcher. Saparoshitz turns it around. Millers have successfully killed off two power plays so far today. Can they kill off another one? Zaporoshit sends it up and Quattrimoni has to turn that one away. Quattrimoni leaves it for Dutcher. Sends it over to the far sides. And we're going to have an icing. 3.34 left to go in the game. 1.21 left on the Holliston power play. And a nice job in that sequence defensively by the Hillers. Sean Walsh up against Sam Farrell. The Hillers did score a shorthanded goal today, courtesy of a Sean Walsh breakaway. That was their second goal of the game back in the second period. Lab working up the near side. Now he'll cut across over to Farrell he goes. Farrell looking for a shot. He was looking to get it out to Sapanaro. A little too far ahead of him, and then Sapanaro sends it away. A misfire there over to the Far side corner it goes in the Hollis, the defensive end. Walsh got in there as Lab tried to hit it away. Back to the boards now. Saponaro picks it up and sends it forward. Hollison trying to establish an attack here. But Saporoshitz has other ideas. 35 seconds left on the Holliston power play. Along the far side, Jarrett sends it over. A nice send off there by Cam Jarrett, who has been tremendous defensively today. Rogers draws a hard push, sent up by Lab. And now racing up the ice is Dutcher. Dutcher takes a shot, turned away by Bailey and picked up by Jarrett. Jarrett sends it forward, but it went right to Tommy Lab. He takes a shot. It's diverted away, and then a secondary shot turned away. A nice job by Saporosha. It's getting his body in. Front of the stick of Schneelock. And now racing up the far side is Rogers. Jammed up with Dutcher on a break, takes a shot, and it's wrapped up by Quattromoni. Hill is doing a good job there, keeping most of those shots to the outside there. And Rogers with a nice break up the side, able to work his way through a check, and the Hill has got another shot on. We'll have a faceoff at 207. We are back at even shrink. So another successful kill by the Hillers. Gilbert sends it over to the corner. Carraza will send it back. And it's picked up by Williams, but he'll take a big hit from Aiden Walsh. And now Weinstock sends it over to the near side corner. Carraza trying to pick it up. Carraza doing battle along the boards with Payne. And Payne is going to come away with it. Sends it up to Corbett, and Corbett takes a shot, and it's wrapped up by Bailey. This faceoff will come with 138 left to go in the third period.
Kirk in on the faceoff. Manser trying to send it away. Sent over by Kirk, over to Quinlan. Quinlan working up the far side, out in front, and it's wrapped up by Quattrimoni. We want to remind you, HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentists at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003. The dentists at Hopkinton provide state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Dan Kirk up against Sapanaro. Quinlan with the backhander. Toko back into the game as well for the Hillers. He'll get in there, steal it away. Toko sends it towards the corner. Picked up by Payne. Quinlan out in front and a nice shot by Kirk. Turned away by Quattrimoni. Manser to Toko. Out in front, Quinlan was trying to get in there. Here comes Sapanaro off sides. I think we're gonna call a penalty on Holliston here for interference. Oh, all right. Well, the Hillers will have a power play for the entirety of the rest of the period, unless they, of course, score a goal. Joe Carrazza will be in on the faceoff. In the box for Holliston, it's Brendan Gary. Sent to... The backboards up and around goes Aiden Walsh. Griffiths to Walsh. Over to Carraza. Carraza takes a shot and it went right off of Panther, off of Dutcher, but Carraza picks it back up. Sends it over to Saparoshitz. Saparoshitz back to Carraza. Rister turned away. Sent up the far side by Sapanaro. 40 seconds left in the game. The Hillers with the man advantage to close things out. Along the near side, Griffiths sent to the neutral zone. Lab sends it up into the Hiller's defensive zone. Griffiths will work it up the ice towards Carraza. Saparoshitz pops it off the boards. Picked up by Dutcher. Saparoshitz sends it forward to Weinstock. And Weinstock sends it flying into the corner. The Hopkinton Hillers going to improve to 16 and one on the season. Yet another impressive victory over their TVLR rivals on senior night, the Holliston Panthers. And Eric Holliston uh, gave the Hillers everything they had tonight, but the Hillers just too much to handle. What a tremendous all around performance, but you gotta give credit to the Hillers Defensemen, they really didn't let Hollison put on a whole lot of pressure at all. No, they didn't. The defense was just stellar. The last two games have played absolutely outstanding defense. And the offense uh, tonight with their full complement all back was just put on a show, offensive clinic in the end with multiple shots. And it score could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for Quachimone. Well, the next time we talk to you for Hillers hockey, it'll be playoff time. The Hillers are all done with Regular season home games are heading off to Martha's Vineyard for a weekend tournament. We certainly wish them the very best of luck in that tournament. And they might get a look at a couple of potential playoff opponents in that tournament, but it should be a fun, hopefully long playoff run for this Hillers team. I'm looking forward to it, Eric. It should be a fun uh, playoff season. Yep, I think they've got the, uh, the means to go deep again this year, so it should be uh, another good run for this team. Well, congratulations to the Hillers getting a nice victory on senior night. They take down the Holliston Panthers three to nothing. Impressive stuff all around by the Hillers tonight. For Joe Frackleton on camera, my broadcast partner, Eric Cardi. I'm Tom Nappy. The final score for the final time, the Hopkinton Hillers improved to 16-1-0 on the season. The Holliston Panthers fall to 10-7-2 as the Hillers take down Holliston by a final of three to nothing. And that's gonna wrap up coverage tonight from the New England Sports Center. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we will talk to you again soon. Good night, everybody.